that investigation happen. Uh, let the facts come out. All right. Let's move on to yes. something else. The president announced a new immigration policy this week to stop deporting illegals who have been brought into this country as children and who have good records, no criminal records, law abiding. Here is what Mr. Obama said last year about not having the power to do exactly this. Take a look. I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. That's, that's, that's not how our democracy functions. That's not how our Constitution is written. Question. What's changed from last year other than the fact that the president now needs Hispanic voters to get reelected? Nothing's changed. The president can't change the law on his own. Uh, this is not a permanent fix. This was prosecutorial, prosecutorial, prosecutorial discretion announced by the Department of Homeland Security, not a change in the law. So this is going to allow our law enforcement agencies to focus on deporting uh, criminals. That's up 80 percent, by the way. We, we need to focus on the real threat here, people who are endangering our communities, not people who are studying in school, working hard. So you have uh, people who are here, uh, brought here, many cases, very young ages by their parents, who are studying in our schools, working in our businesses, who want to serve our military. This allows them to apply just for a two-year period for work authorization. So there's one way to fix this permanently, only one way, and that's for Congress to pass the DREAM Act, uh, which is something that, uh, unfortunately, Governor Romney has said he would veto if he becomes president. So this is very, very important, that this is a two-year period so that people can apply. It allows our enforcement officials to focus on criminals, those that really pose a threat that ought to be the focus here. But the only permanent way to fix our immigration system and certainly to provide permanent relief for DREAM Act eligible populations is for Congress to act. You, you mentioned Governor Romney. I don't want to get into a whole thing about the differences. We'll get into the economy in a minute. But specifically for Hispanic voters, do you think there's a clear choice between Obama and Romney? I think there's a clear choice for every voter. Well, I know. I'm, I'm asking you about Hispanics. Well, first of all... On I this think, issue of uh, immigration. On, well, first of all, Hispanic voters uh, highly uh, support the health care bill, what we're trying to do in education. Well, in immigration, yes, this is a president who's tried to get immigration reform done in a comprehensive way. We came close to getting the DREAM Act done. So this is someone who believes that we are a nation of laws, but also a nation of immigrants. Uh, and that people who want to staff our labs and start our businesses and serve their country ought to be able to do that. Governor Romney has said he would veto the DREAM Act. Governor Romney essentially said the 11 million people here ought to just go home. They ought to self-deport. So this is someone you're not going to be able to trust. And this is one of the important choices the president talked about earlier this week in Ohio. The president Romney, if he was elected, is not going to fix our immigration system. He's been very clear about that. You watched Republican debate after Republican debate, many of them on your network where Governor Romney was very clear. He would veto the DREAM Act. He thinks these 11 million people ought to just be sent home. So I think that's a clear choice, just not for the Latino community, but for the American electorate at large.